it's cold and the fog's rolling in it was sunny when i got here and within a couple minutes this strange fog bank's rolling in from the ocean because the ocean's straight that way wow look down in there so uh i tried to film a video this morning off of by topanga canyon and uh It turned into a gated community area, so I could not enter the area. I asked the guy, oh, what the heck, guys, look. I'm filming right here, there's $10 down there. How's that even possible? Look, I have my slippers on. I'm filming the video and there's a $10 bill right there. How is that even? <laughs> look, we'll go grab it once we put our gear on. I don't wanna fall right there. I need my hiking pole for that so strange how's there ten dollars laying there let's look for more <laughs> yeah anyways guys i went to go film off topanga canyon and it turned into a gated community area I don't see no more money out here. Guys, I have my house slippers on. I had to drive about an hour and a half to get out here. Anyways. This is a lead from uh, that one channel in AZ. I'll put the link right here. And uh, he gave us this link. He found it while looking on Google and Apple Maps. Zooming in from the sky. I want to walk down there by those tunnels as well. And take a look. Let's gear up. Get our $10. It's hanging off this cliff edge. And we'll go on our way and see if we could find this car that's supposedly not that far down. We got some hiking poles. We'll just uh, bushwhack our way down there. Stay with me. I just want to read a couple of these signs before we start. Come back, our car's gone. <laughs> that one says tunnel. It's a mile per an hour. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk up here a ways and look for some more money. <laughs> you never know. I think the first thing we should do is get this $10 that we spotted. The strange thing is, there's like some moved dirt where the $10 is laying. Like, it looks like someone recently stepped there. Look. <laughs> Today's my lucky day. Do I see any more down there? I don't see nothing. So strange. It probably flew out of a pocket of a guy on a motorcycle. And it probably, the wind probably eventually just blew it over the side. Let me put it in my wallet, stay with me. Here comes the higher patrol. He didn't even look at me, thank God. He probably would have warned me and told me to move my car. Here comes a Land Rover. All hooked up. That was a nice one. 
Land Rover, Range Rover, I don't know the difference. There's a 911 Porsche. That was cool. Got our clearance height on this <coughs> on this uh, tunnel. It's 13 feet three inches. There's a Porsche, Boxster. Wow, this is cool. I'm not sure if you guys can see it with this GoPro footage, but it says 1967 up high up there. Look at all this glass up here. People have thrown bottles. When they're coming through this tunnel, they'll throw a bottle, it hits here and crashes down here. Look at this. I kind of want to poke around a little bit over here and see what's up in here. Man, we could actually get to the top of this tunnel. That'd be cool, huh? We'll just stay down here for now. Let's go find that vehicle. All right, so our destination is that red dot. We're the blue dot. We're trying to make it to this red dot right here. Somewhere along this hillside is the car. So I'm just walking until I pinpoint it exactly. I think the exact entrance point is right here. I want, I don't really want to be off on this guys because sometimes if you're off by 10 or 20 feet, it could mean a lot. This is kind of a, <clears throat> a strong pitch right here. So <clears throat> I just want to make sure I'm going down the exact area. Double checking, make sure my car's locked. My car's locked. Looks like this is an animal trail. Looks like it's been traveled highly. Look at the trails here in front of me. Probably deer or something. I'm not sure. I don't see a vehicle yet, but let's keep looking.
I'm gonna say this right now. This heavy um, hiking stick is kind of a pain. It's just too hard to swing with one arm. That's how heavy this thing is. It's a Chinese fighting stick. So it's really heavy. <clears throat> okay, I don't see nothing out here. Let me double check my navigation, stay with me. I think our best way down is, is to keep following the animal trails. I went that way and then it shot off going back up top. You wanna see something scary guys? I just started this adventure and we already have a tick on us. Let me switch to my phone so I can show you guys. That would be a tick folks and I'm sprayed with permethrin so I don't know why it's not falling off. Sayonara, buddy. We gotta really watch our surroundings. There it is. And it's half a car. And he told me it could be possibly half a car. Do a quick tick check, guys. Guys. Never be ashamed to stop and do a tick check. I think that's like the third or fourth one I found since the last year. Never have I found one in my skin, never. And I don't want to. As you guys could tell, this area burns a lot. Look at the rock out here, it's just cooked. <clears throat> Look at this, it's just charred. Wow, look at the animal trails going up in that way. Maybe I should have came that er, came that way, I'm not sure. <sighs> Guys, I'm not hiking, I'm falling right now. That's why I keep trying to put this stick in front of me because this pitch it's slippery with this hay grass on here. Uh, we have half a vehicle, but hey, we made it. Let's make it all the way to it before we look at it. I'm gonna do another tick check here in a second, guys. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful canyon though. Beautiful out here. So we have Malibu, which we're kind of in, Agora Hills. Um, the Kardashians live somewhere in this area. Uh, I forget the name of it. <clears throat> Guys, so we made it. Guys, I'm cold. It's in the 50s. My nose is running, but I'm good. 
We made it to the vehicle. Just from looking from the side, I would say, Ford Ranger, Toyota. Here. Guys, I don't know why I cannot stand up on this hill. I got my right leg pegged into the floor, holding me up. I just want to tumble. And it's not this, it's steep, but I mean, it's manageable. You could look, you could hike up this, but this hay stuff, I mean, it's like butter. So that's why I'm trying to keep myself up. Let's go see if there's a VIN number on it is what I want to see. So, I would say 100% stolen. <laughs> no VIN number on the windshield area, which would be right here. But I don't know if it's a Ford Ranger or a Toyota truck. And I should be ashamed of myself because I'm a Toyota fanatic. Let's look at the headlights. What do y'all think? I don't know. But it's been here a long time, it's burned, and it's been dumped off the side. I don't think no one's come down here after it crashed and pulled the motor and transmission. I doubt that happened. It's strange guys, they say where you find one tick, you'll find another. So I can't see behind me, but like I said, my pants are sprayed with permethrin, my undershirt sprayed with permethrin, but my outerwear is not. I didn't, wasn't preparing for a day like this. Um, like I said earlier, I was supposed to be hiking on a hiking trail to a crash car out there in Simi Valley, California. And our plans got changed, so here I am. Here we are. Let's go try to view one from the other side, see if we missed anything out of the ordinary that we could document. I really don't see anything else over here other than these little holes that I guess probably like a piece of molding would go on. I'm sure there's one on the other side also. Right here. So that could be a telltale sign. Manual transmission. Well, possibly. Yeah, manual transmission. Look at the hole in the floor. If anybody out there knows, let me know. I think it's about time we get out. Start hiking back out, which shouldn't be too hard. It's steep, but we have a hiking stick to help us. And there's animal trails all through this hillside. But, yeah, it's steep up here. You just gotta be careful with this hay. This hay will send you to the bottom, man. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is gonna be a short video. I have to work tomorrow. For those of you that follow me religiously, um, I could only really film once a week. Sometimes I could sneak out and film something. An old sleeve, possibly to like a water main or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, I could, only, I could only film about once a week. I, sometimes I could do two. But I try to just film on Saturdays. Uh, dang it. It's so hard to keep your balance. Oh, I think I see a license plate. Hold on. I think I really see a license plate right now. 
as long as I don't fall on my butt and slide to the bottom of this canyon. Yes, sir. Yes. Look at this. And this is an old one. The one that has a California emboss in the metal. That's funny, that 951 is the area code in California. I believe it's like Riverside Temecula area, I believe. ZWU951. Guys, that's coming home with us. I carry trash bags in my backpack. I'll throw it in there so we don't have to carry it. Because when you hike, guys, you always want to keep at least one hand open for bracing impact when you fall. Stay with me. Folks, I'm sorry I've been so rude. I didn't invite you guys to breakfast this morning. We're going to climb our butt up there somehow. And uh, we're going to have breakfast on me, guys. I have my breakfast actually stashed inside of my drone case. Stay with me. Let's see what we got. Guys, I don't have my camera on. This is, I think, where I fell coming down. And I just fell again and landed on my tailbone. Gotta stay off the grass and you gotta get in the dirt. We're almost there. Here we go, guys. This is our breakfast. Squeezable, creamy, so you don't have to have a knife and rich crackers. Let's go. Guys, I haven't ate since yesterday, so. I'm like starving. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. All right, folks, I got everything put away. Breakfast is over. Let's put the drone in the air. Hopefully it's gonna fly correctly. It's really foggy. Sometimes when you get missed on the sensors, the thing goes crazy. So let's see what happens. Let's do this. <laughs> 